Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat Fork Girl, part 131. We got Pocono and Michigan this part, and I'm noticing the money, instead of it was like at 2.7 million, now it's at 3.6. I don't know when this changed. I really don't. I'm 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 perplexed, to be honest. I don't So I guess it does carry over. I just wish the game just made it clear. Is that am I asking for too much for the game to be in the back when Arby's parking lot to have that be mentioned? I don't know. But settings, same as usual. Uh, I was doing some like practice uh, laps and stuff. I I mean our lap times are damn near pole lap times, so I mean we should just I think this one of all the tracks, this one we should probably absolutely kill them in. So we're going to qualifying and see if uh, what I'm saying is true or I'm just making shit up. Off of turn three, our best lap ever was a 53.1. So it is possible to damn near get a pull time, and that was not anywhere near that at all. So that was that was still seventh, but yeah, that was not a. I I, I can probably get that. It, 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 it yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's a good time. Kyle Busch on pole. The good thing is, based on just practice laps I did, I think we'll be fine. I just I just got this feeling. Charlotte, I mean, I kind of did with Charlotte too. But last time I did that, I didn't do it so. But Reagan, his friend, Kyle Busch. Okay, nothing, nothing revolutionary happened. So, yeah, I guess we'll just see what happens. Obviously, this was the race when I learned that the... the, the Healthy with uh, hitting two laps before the stage break thing uh, was a thing. So I'll pin on lap nine and then just kind of go from there. And we get a pretty good start. For some reason, we're almost going to go for a lead right away. I wasn't really expecting that, but we have momentum. We have everything maxed out. Our car is just stupid fast. And we're going to just <laughs> just go three wide for the lead nearly. Normally, the tall turn will be very scary. However, we can go way below it, but I, I couldn't do it there, so it makes me feel to be a liar, and that's starting to piss me off a little bit because I, I expected to do really well in qualifying. It didn't happen. And in the race, I just said about the tunnel turn, and uh, okay, well, it's making me look really bad right now. Logano, can I please lead a lap after you ruined my hopes and dreams at Charlotte? Uh, okay, we did lead that lap. Okay. Can we please clear them, please? I'd like to just relax. That's why that's why I do when I want to play Heat 4 is I want to just, just lounge and just chill. It, Logano, are you gonna he's just side drafting me? This is this is like the most this is like the antithesis of like the arrow package of this of this year when this game came out. Side draft to the cows come home. Now let's actually try to do this through here. Like I was trying to say, yes, that's what I was trying to say. And okay, good, we got it. Never mind, we just lost it all in turn three, and then Logano's gonna lead the second lap. Well, this is just unrealistic for Pocono standards. Usually, we don't get racing like this. I'm, I'm shocked. And can I... No, I don't. Alright, well, we got a little bit of a run. Can I clear Hamlet before we get in the tunnel turn? No, I don't! Ugh. God damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of shocked, to be honest, that that wasn't a yellow, but I guess Hamlin didn't really wreck fully. But leave it to Hamlin to just find another way to just choke away a win. I mean, Hamlin's just, he's just a joke at this point in this group. It's just, it's really, just, it's really sad. Good news is we're closing in on Logano. Also, last lap was our fastest lap, was a 53-1. I just, I don't remember if draft was a factor in it or what, but it probably was, so... That kind of sucks, but hey, new leader. I'm gonna pit this lap. We're gonna go with four tires and fuel just because that means we can just stay out under the, the stage break and then just kind of pit from there. So 55. We'll see if this works. I'm hoping this doesn't screw us or anything. So we'll just have to wait and see, or we can get a horribly timed yellow and ruin it. 
there's a whole different bunch of factors that can mess this up. 15 point. Wow, 15 flat. And we'll be out in the way. It looked like anybody else that did pit that lap with me is, yeah, Logano as well. So they, it looks like they took four tires. So they should be staying out under the speed break thing as well. So that's good. Or at least I hope so. Well, the good thing is, once this all cycles through, we should be back into lead. So it, it, I don't know, maybe a lot of other cars did just take right sides, because there is a pretty noticeable gap. Maybe. I don't know. I, I'm assuming that's what happened. I don't know what on earth is going on here. They must have just, like, all ran themselves out of fuel, if I had to guess. So a lot of them just stayed along with Eric Jones. That's my assumption. I thought they maybe pit and just took right side tires, but no, they just <laughs> ran themselves out of fuel. And just like that, we will take the lead and win stage one, likely. Nice little stage there, just just played out. We usually don't always get those, so that was nice. Hamlin, after basically me killing him, he gets fourth. He rebounded pretty well. Now I'll see what everybody else does, though, because I don't really know. Oh, everybody else is pitting. Uh, Eric Jones is staying out. Yeah, I'm going to stay out, because we're still going to have to pit anyways in this stage, so. That's what I'm going to do. And we have a bunch of slower kind of cars up here, maybe. Let's see what, this, let's see what happens. I mean, we have enough wins. We're locked into the playoffs, so I might as well just try this out and just kind of see where it takes us. Ooh. Oh, boy. Well, eh, no, I don't think we can make it. We can't make it. We have to pit. God, the, the terribly timed yellows strikes again wow this is really gonna mess us up because we're still gonna pit yeah we're not gonna be able to make it four tires and fuel and then there basically goes uh all of the strategy for stage two the only thing i can hope for now is to just gain 37 spots in like five laps I don't even have words to explain what on earth just happened those last three laps. We went from 30, what, 38th or 37th to 4th in just three laps. Oh my god, it's just, just, where the state's gonna end. Okay, well, the game tried. Well, it's, the joke's on them. I'm still gonna, well, everybody should be taking four tires and fuel, but the good thing is, I mean, we're definitely easily the fastest car on the track without a shadow of doubt. And we actually stayed in fourth, so we'll have probably like 15 or so laps to go. That's a, basically a fuel run. So, well, a fuel, a fuel run and then some. So, um, yeah. And these aren't really the fastest cars on track, so we can definitely get up front. I mean, even on super worn tire, that that's four wide. Me and Daniel, I mean, yeah, me and Daniel Hammer just didn't give a shit. Major respect to him on that. He, I mean, he just sent it. Props to him, but now we're three wide, and I don't like this. Okay, he backed off. See, he he understands. Suarez, I'm sorry. Stop stop jiggling in the car. Calm, calm down. It's just a little touch. It's not going to hurt you. Can we get the lead here? Uh, No. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll door him again, though. And can we clear him? No. Yes. Uh. Yes, okay, good. Now let's run away. Wow, that is our fastest lap without even any drafting help. Oh my god, I'm not a liar after all. Oh, I feel good about myself now. I'm pinning this lap. Our fuel's hit one, so I don't want to sputter going down period. Obviously, uh, with about eight or seven laps to go, that's nearly an entire fuel run, so we can probably get away with just getting four tires and stuff. Also, with the car being so fast, I think we could still make it up to the field regardless, so. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just have this wait and see. 15 seconds stop. In fact, that's a 15 point bounce. No, 15 point 3. That's like 3 tenths off the our other stop before. But it's okay. We got out of pit road first, and everybody else has to go down pit road, so we good still. And just like that, we're going to take the lead back, and we have a 
stupid margin over um, Suarez, I believe. It's like, I don't even know. It's, it's just a stupid, yeah, seven plus seconds. I, God damn. Oh, of course we would have a yellow. God damn it. This game, I swear. Well, nobody else is pitting. We'll obviously stay out. We should be fine. I mean, our car's just been so damn fast this whole race. I don't really think this would be a problem. Somebody up at the front must have had the issue because they're down pit road and everybody gained a spot. So, as long as we have a decent enough restart, we should be fine. This is actually not a green one checker. It's, in fact, three to go. So, uh, yeah. Are we going to clear Suarez before we get into turn one? Uh, yes, we are. Okay, good. Light flags out. We pulled away to about a second lead. So, all's good. Pretty, uh... I mean, it's nice to kick ass in my hometown tracks. So that's always really cool. Um, yeah, this is a, this, this is a pretty simple of a race. Through turn three, I I got nothing. That was just a just after the freaking depression race that was Charlotte. We gained the Pocono, we beat Logano, and just had a just disgusting day. And I like this, and I like it. Shout out to Dale Reynolds where he usually would sit in those stands. And we'll do a little burnout here thingy on the long front straightaway. There we go. Oof. Do it again. Oh, that was almost the dream spin. But that's okay. Let's look at this clownery from Denny Hamlin. He... Ooh! Oh, cow bush. Well... Like, just that... <laughs> How do you think that was going to work, Denny? You're literally entering the tunnel turn. Ugh. It's like none of us would have gave, give, but n nobody gave and nobody took, and he, he got the brunt of it. Thank God that this is NASCAR Heat 3, because if it was, I would have been ping-ponged to the right and just been dead, so at least he got boned out of it. So, finishing results. Um, nobody really got a lap down or anything. Um, Eric Jones, ooh, who did win a stage. I guess was the one that brought the yellow at near the end of the race. Uh, the Ben is was kind of 16th in points. He was kind of on the, the bubble of sorts, but it didn't really. Okay. $523,000 in merch payout. Good lord. $862,000 earned, and yeah, that's oof. And there's our playoff grid, and Newman is now in with the Jimmy three points out, and the Ben the is 21st. You know what's really cool is, I remember one year I went to Pocono and my friend won like free VIP tickets and it was it was awesome because I got to be like up close next to the trophy. And it was great. It's a cool trophy too. I, I like, me like you. So, wow, we actually had the fastest lap and we probably led at least 30 out of the 40 laps, I have to imagine, or 27. Okay, That's still a lot. Smooth driving, huge savings, 4.5 million in the bank. And we do get our incentive contract bonus thingy. So, yeah. Ooh, went up again. I don't know if it, it did that two times before or what, but we, we gained a lot of money. <sighs> How many messages are we going to get where it's just going to be a bunch of ass kissing? I'm sure Hamlin's going to be pretty mad, to be honest. <sighs> are we... Ooh, Hamlin's angry. Hashtag sloppy driver. I'm sorry. So with all that situated with the work plan, we'll look at our juicy stats. 948 laps led. We are just pff, disgusting amounts of laps led. 37.92. Not sure if that will gain us anything on the thing. I don't know. I have to check this again to be sure. With 37.92, that uh, okay, that doesn't really get us anywhere. We're closer to Kyle Petty, but that's that's really it. We still have a Almost like what, 117 laps away to to tying him somewhere around there. So yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit, I suppose. With our 19th career win, that ties us with a good chunk of people like Davy Allison, Buddy Baker, Greg Biffle, Fonty Flock, a, a lot of a lot of names that I know. So yeah, we're up to now 43rd all time on the, the win list. Pretty pretty good progress today. On to Michigan, and I don't I did some practice laps. I, I feel like qualifying is always really insane with the lap times based on all everything I remember. So it's gonna probably we may not be in the top ten. 
in the qualifying thing. Well, that's that's going to be a first in a while. But settings as usual, still the same. Just always want to show this to make sure people don't think I'm trying to cheese it or cheat or anything. Cheese and cheat it. Alliteration there. Um, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we have 100 everything. We'll jump into it and see where we start. And also we have our in, uh, new incentive contract, which is two top fives for nearly $600,000. And that's really it. Okay, on the qualifying. I'll turn four. Our goal time's at 38.3. I've been usually been able to get like a 38.8 or 7 or, or 38.6. Wow. And we're, t oh my god, we're inside the top 10. I was not expecting that. Maybe because of my outlap, I went on the outside and turned three and four, so I got a good exit there. So maybe that's why I gained like an extra 10, because that, usually I've been right around like 11, I think, so based on those times. And Trex on pole. Well, um,. I think in race trim, for whatever reason, we're just a lot faster compared to AI and qualifying. Just always kind of like that seems. Uh, Newman's friends with me. Ryan Blaney is slow. Cody Ware puts it back to give up tires for tires. Well, that's that's cute. It's not like it's gonna make his race any better. Ooh, that that shade. So, let's see what we can do in the race. I'm sure stage one will probably be the the more difficult of the two stages. Usually just because. It's just kind of how it kind of seems to play out. Just got to keep the car on the bottom lane. Don't give it up. Yeah, all right. Well, that was nice. With our car having just the best of everything. I mean, it's just, it's fast. It just does things. We, <laughs> we're literally in what should have been the sucker hole, but Chase Elliott was the sucker hole in that, that case. And we are damn near going to go for the lead on lap one. Didn't think it would happen this soon, but here we are. Kyle Busch is side drafted me. I'm, I'm turning to left, but I didn't want to. Okay, well, it, it, also, it situated itself, though. Alright, well, down the uh, inside lane. Going for the lead. And. Alright, perfect. New leader. And I'm going to run away. There's a little bit of stuff to digest because Kyle got the, you know, took the leaf from me and then I just took it right back. But hopefully post editor what if will uh, showcase those events so uh, it makes sense what I'm trying to explain because I did lose the leaf for a few laps there. And I'm impressed. They're, I mean, they're still putting up a pretty good fight still uh, we'll be pitting next time by when I do I'll just be taking just rights and we'll kind of go from there but looks like Ham was pitting I think is he yes okay yes he is we're pitting this lap and we can just absolutely barrel it down here down pit road perfect rights and just a can and we go a little bit higher up but yeah and that's it. We should should win the stage, I think. 9.4 seconds stop, and we're going to be ahead of Cowbush leaving Pyro, which is nice. So we should cycle back out into lead, and it looks like everybody else, I guess, took four tires, which confuses me because if they're going to take four tires, then they should stay out, stay out at the end of the stage, but they don't do that. So I don't know why they even bother with the strategy if they're not even going to commit to it. And the stage ends early, just before we got to the line, so hooray, somebody wrecked. Doesn't really change anything, but Senhouse so 8th, though, damn. Everybody's pitting four tires and fuel, we should be able to do the same. I'll up the grill tape a little more. And, okay, we're leading. And we should be able to get a good enough uh, restart, jump in front of everyone, hopefully we can just pull away and not have the draft kind of pulled back in. Congrats, Hamlin. He got by me. And he didn't wreck himself trying, so that was good good for him. Damn, yeah, I just I just can't pull away. Well, 
maybe Hamlin would do a lot better if he wouldn't just drive up on the outside of Michigan when this game just doesn't really work out for him. So. Okay, never mind. You, you gotta go to runoff turn four. I'll, I'll shut up. Nice little run into turn three to the inside of Hamlin for the lead. Oh, a little contact. I'm, I'm turning to left game. Thank you. All right. Well, uh, are we gonna leave this lap? We did barely. Damn. I mean, they, they definitely are putting up a fight. Much props to them. I would. I thought for sure I would pull away from them on that like initial start. Usually that's kind of how it seems to go at this track, but it wasn't the case. So that was shocking. It was like an actual normal AI restart. Pinning this lap. And we'll probably just go with the... Uh, oh, fast 54. We're good. We're barely good on that. Uh, we'll just go with no tires, just a splash of fuel. Okay, right. Never mind. Okay, okay we'll do that then. 8.1 seconds. And we're out in the way. We definitely are much further ahead of everyone else behind me. And we are. But again, they keep screwing themselves on strategy. I don't know why they keep doing that. Point flags out. Brendan gone ran himself out of fuel. <laughs> and he's still staying out on track. What an absolute shad. He may still get some stage points out of this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Who in stage two? I have no idea where Brendan gone is. Last I saw him, he was fourth. So that's still not yet. Still needs to update. And gone officially. Where did he finish? 13th. Okay, well, it didn't work out for him. All right, well, four tires and fuel again. And. Ooh. Oh yeah, those people did. Um, they pitted on going into the last lap, so... The good thing is, the, the point I'm trying to make is... We got slow cars up here. They're gonna hold up the faster ones. And that's gonna be very good for me. So, thank you to these people and their sacrifices. That was a... Uh, it's not illegal, but that could have been really bad, but you don't believe from it all. That didn't take long. About four laps later, they got by all those slower cars, and now they're right at my back bumper. I don't know how they're doing it, really. I remember in the Xfinity Series, too, when uh, this was like another track where I really just crushed them, but here it's just not the case. They're, they're like I've been saying, they're putting up a, like a much more valiant effort fight. Oh, of course we have yellow. The good thing is this is almost right at our fuel run. Or it's just, it's just long enough to justify uh, taking four tires, so um, yeah. Um, for some reason William Byron's staying out. Don't know why, but we'll pit four tires and fuel. Okay, we're still first. Alright, well this is just going to be a straight up brawl to the finish because they're just, they're at my bumper constantly, so they I'm going to really have to try. Yet again, Denny Hamlin was in second. Just threw away the entire chance to win out the window because he wanted to go up on the high side and turn three and four. Hamlin is just amazing of just screwing himself over. It's, it's really uh, quite a marvel at this point. Ooh, Kyle, that... K Carl... Oh, classic over... I was watching him for die. <laughs> oh, God, I saw... <laughs> I was looking in my mirror, and just be when I was looking back, I think I just saw him get launched into the air. God damn it. <laughs> How many times are we going to do the same song and dance where I have to arc it into the corner? And they could just pin it on the bottom and then just be fine. And then we have these incidences. Yeah, it's 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 fucking frustrating. White flags out. This track's starting to piss me off a little bit. Like the angles they take in the corner are so stupid. Like in order for me to, to block, I have to just do what they do, but I, I lose like seven or eight miles an hour into the corner because of that. Hello, Eric Jones. I just it's just such a shitty way to drive. It's just so what you're not supposed to do. However, we're gonna block the lanes like it's Daytona here at Michigan and should be able to hold on. Through three and four, block Logano. 
and Eric Jones, and don't, I have no idea who got second, but, but we beat Logano again. It's like what, three, almost three races in a row where me and him are just one, two. That's what it seems like. Okay, now we get to see the a good incident or angle of this wreck. So Kyle Busch overcorrects, and was I right? I was right. Oh my God, Newman hit Kyle Busch so hard. He flew up in the air too. Wow, I <laughs> I was right. Oh my God, that's incredible. So with Kyle Busch dying there, he still manages to get a top 20 finish. And Newman finished 12th after <laughs> ass-packing him beyond belief. Oh my, well, that race was very frustrating. For so many reasons. I just, I can't stand how they drive the damn track. It's, just, it's, it's infuriating me. Good merch payout, though, so that's nice. But yeah, that was, ugh, that was annoying. <laughs> like, nothing about that was fun at all. Just because they arc it into the corner so, just, assly. Hey, we led 43 out of the 50 laps, though. That's kind of impressive, to be honest. It didn't, it didn't feel like it. Moderate savings, which is fair, because I did <laughs> hit the wall. Watching Kyle Busch die. That was worth it, though. Uh, can you manage... If you can manage three more wins, you're going to be at 200. Can you fit three more trophies in that cram trophy? Oh, God. Byron, no. Don't. No. Joey Gates, thank you. Stop being a simp, Austin Dillon. BJ McLeod, no, we can't do that now. Uh, Chase Elliott made better tweets. Daryl Wallace, uh, no. That's rich coming from him about a clean professional trier when I... If I remember correctly... He, um, <laughs> wasn't there that one time when he, like, wrecked Kyle Busch at Watkins Glen? Like, no, I, I don't know if it was for no reason, but I just remember that. I could be wrong. Maybe I, maybe he was justified. I, I don't know. No Harvick, we can't go fishing. Uh, Ryan Priest, no. Ryan Tr oh my god. How many, how many simp tweets am I gonna get? Just stop. Just stop. The good thing is that next uh, race will be at Sonoma. And, I mean, we are going to that with the mismatch penalty, but it's going to be an 88 rating car, I believe, so it shouldn't be too bad. I think we could probably definitely, like, still get a top 10. Hopefully a top 5 so we can keep our momentum, but I really don't know if the car can do that. But, well, we got our handy-dandy stat time as per usual. So, with 991 laps led, times that by 4, 39.64. I think we're finally ahead of Kyle Petty in the, the, the rank ranks. I am right. We are very much ahead of Kyle Petty. So, yeah, we are ahead of him and then under Dick Hutcherson. That's, that sounds really wrong. <laughs> that sounds really, really wrong. With our 20th win, that only ties us with uh, one other person, and that is Speedy Thompson. Then after that, we have a about a four-way tie for... Uh, 21 wins and stuff, so that would be pretty cool. And yeah, I, I'm curious how many we'll get by the end of the year. Usually in these career modes, we've always kind of like gotten around like 25 to 29 wins in the Cup Series. So curious if that will be the trend or will that trend break? I I don't know. It'll be interesting to find out. Big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters at Dale Rounds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave in our Champ 15, Alan Gray, NASCAR Number Site.org, Billy Kerr, Drew, Jonathan Carr, and Robert Dillon, Call 100, and Crazy Yellow for donation again. I can't thank guys enough for contribution and support of the channel every single month like this. It does me a lot, and it does go a long ways, and I just always like to thank you guys because it just, it, it's just so damn great. It just, I don't know what, to, I don't know how, how else to describe it. It's just, it's so awesome. I'll see you on the next part for Sonoma, and then I believe it's Chicagoland? I was right, hooray. All right, well, uh, no idea how Sonoma will go, but with the road course and this game with how they spread out with the sliders I have set, it should be kind of a uh, potentially an uneventful race. Uh, Chicagoland, I have no idea. That might be tricky. I don't know. But Then we got like a three-race stretch where I know we'll probably win at Daytona, Kentucky, and then New Hampshire. Definitely poke. Okay, maybe a four race streak. Okay, maybe it'll be a four race win streak. I don't know, but the goal is to try to get over twenty wins in the season. It's just a, and I think we'll probably do it. I mean, we already have 10, 15 races, so it, it may be possible. 
Here's our grit at the moment. Newman, after dying, is tied with Jimmy Johnson, so I don't know what a tiebreaker would be like, but I'm assuming because Jimmy's ahead of Newman, Jimmy would get that tiebreaker. And we got Kenseth in 18th. And Debenden has fallen off the face of the earth. He was in the top 16 for a while, but now he's not no more. All right, well, that'll do it for me in this part. I'll see you all later. As always, have a good day, everyone.